When in the February and March of 2021, we had the storm of the earthquakes, it was followed in the March by eruption of uh, several fissures in the Geldingadala area uh, of the Fagradesville volcanic system. It was limited eventually to one fissure, which formed a cone, and through that we had these spectacular eruptions for almost six months. In recent weeks, we have seen some activity now in this region, which are marked now for you in the rectangle. It has been quiet now for almost two years, and the earthquakes are uh, seemingly are back in that area. And when we look at the earthquakes with the magnitude shown as a circle, and the depth of them also shown in respect to each other, we see that what we have seen in the Suarsengi Blue Lagoon volcanic system is now at a depth of 5 kilometers where earthquakes are rising, but the deeper 10 kilometer, 9 kilometer, and 8 up to 7 kilometers is the Fagradesville system that we have earthquakes rising to the ground. This may be due to the opening of the fault lines and creating a pathway for the mantle of the earth to melt and form the magma rising. To the east, here to the right of this, we can see the crystal weak volcanic system also uh, getting uh, awakened by the recent movements in the fault lines. This is the uh, pattern we see in the Reckonis Peninsula and the Reckonis Ridge. Earthquakes rising from the Mid-Atlantic Ridge to the Reckonis Ridge and then coming to the land like a wave. And every day we can see that wave transferring the movement from the Sorsengi to the uh, Fagadesville, to the Krisovic, to the Brainstein Field, and to the Hengul uh, volcanic systems. This is the accommodation of the movement. It creates something in geology we call bodin age, means sausage making process. These lobs you see there, these are created by the pooling of the ground. There are rifts formed and through the gaps that the reefs create, magma can rise up and find a pathway, eventually erupting to the surface. They are like vein-like structures. We had many eruptions in this area. This is again uh, RUV, MBL cameras, as you have seen previously here. And we are seeing the many of these volcanoes in that area. Meridello, Little Corto, Fagodesville, also you saw it before that. Then the Sorsengi, Sundunka, Hagofell and the Green Dovic, and again Sunduko 2, we are seeing them. They're all happening in this sequence, in this line of this uh, uh, fractured earth, rifts that are created, we call them volcanic system, each one of them. And then some of them uh, were not active, they're getting active now. Fagadesville, after two years, is now getting active, and after that, it's in Crystal Week, and to the east, all those volcanic systems are gradually getting active. Uh, active as you can see and here these are the system that when one, one moves magma can rise and erupt as lava at the surface F between the you know the uh, fault lines faces of the rocks that actually are the weakest points in the ground the hills formed there around them surprisingly all of them have, are surrounded by hills these are the rifts edges of the rift they are the safest parts and the valleys formed between them which humans being uh, prone to that, to build their structures there, are the unsafest, dangerous, more dangerous places. Magma migrates to those areas, forming this volcanic system that we see. Fagadesville is one of those ones which it seems is going to be active, uh, maybe all over the next uh, month or up to six months. Let's wait and see. This is quite possible. Fagadesville has already erupted. It's already have a you know, pathway created for the magma, it may erupt again soon.